Our next guest is a very talented actor you've seen on hit shows like The Wire and in huge musicals like The Book of Mormon. Now he's starting in the Netflix movie that's getting a ton of award show buzz. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, please welcome Michael Potts. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey, Michael. Hi, Michael. Hello. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Hi. So Good Michael, to be with you. You yes. had, I know, we're excited to have you too, especially because you've had such a long Broadway career. What has it been like this past year seeing everything shut down for the theater community? Well, you know, it's been heartbreaking. I have so many, so many of my uh, fellow actors, so many close friends uh, sitting here trying to figure out what to do. And it's not just the idea of not being able to do the thing we love. It's also about health care. I mean, as an actor, we gain health coverage by having work weeks. And so that's been quite yeah. devastating for us. But, you know, we, we, we're resilient. We keep bouncing back and the show continues to go on. So there's a lot of Zoom performing performances happening. The Actors mm -hmm. Fund has been incredible in helping out actors in need. So uh, it'll be back. And Dr. Fauci just gave us a little bit of hope that we'll be back sometime in late spring. Hopefully. Great. Fingers yeah. crossed, okay? Uh, yes, But in the time. meantime, you did a fabulous job in the movie Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Your character Thank is you. the bass Thank player, you. Slow Drag. Yeah. And um, we heard you actually learn how to play the bass for this one. <laughs> I so did. So cool. Did. That's amazing. Yeah, it's a pretty cool instrument. And, you know, when you, uh, when you hear who you're going to be working in the film with, you don't want to be the weakest link. <laughs> you know, okay. Chadwick, <laughs> Chadwick Boseman, Coleman Domingo, Glenn Turman, you better come prepared. So I, I, I made okay. a, I made a point of learning how to play it. So can I play some songs now? Oh, I, as I tell people, yes, I can play every one of those songs you heard in the movie. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> You're like, any Ma Rainey song you want to hear, any I got Ma you. Rainey song I you saw the hear. film. Yes. I <laughs> saw the film and I absolutely loved it. And obviously it features Chadwick Boseman's. It was his yes. last role that uh, he, he was in before, obviously tragically passing away last year. Yeah. What was it like being on set with him? Oh, man, it was just, it, it was a joy. I mean, he's such a generous soul, such grace such humility you wouldn't expect it i mean of course my first day on him i'm like oh my oh man black panther <laughs> with black panther but <laughs> he was he was not that at all he was just a regular a hard-working colleague i mean he came in prepared wow. uh worked his butt off 12 hours a day with the rest of us and we just had a great time we we became family wow. we became brothers and you didn't know he was ill is that, is that right? Not at all. Not at wow. all. He, he gave mm. no indication wow. of it whatsoever. I mean, it was always this thing that he would do his takes and George, George Wolf, our director, would come and say, I got it, Chad. I, you know, I, I'm happy with it. And Chad was always, one more. Give me one more. Let me do one more. <laughs> He would just wow. smile and, I and love it, those that. big, yeah, those heavy monologues, he would do them over and over and over again. Yeah. Wow. Incredible. Incredible. Do you have any like funny on set stories with Chadwick? <laughs> I think our favorite, which became a running thing um, uh, on set, there is a line in the movie uh, uh, Levy, Chad's character, is trying to get all of us to play his version of one of Ma's songs. And so I interrupt because the string on my bass is coming loose, and I say, "Let me, uh, let me fix the string." And and Chad replies, or Levy replies derisively. Uh, uh, if you was any kind of musician, <laughs> you'd take care of your instrument. So that became a running oh. gag on set. And so anytime anyone made a mistake from the most insignificant, <laughs> that line. And there was the one occasion, finally, a few days later, he picked up his coronet case and the mouthpiece, hit the floor and made a racket. And so he got real quiet. And just you heard this little small voice say, if you was any kind of musician, and Chad <laughs> kind of stopped midway from picking up his mouthpiece, closed his eyes, and this big grin, and he started, just died laughing because he knew it came back to bite Aww. him. We got him. Yes. <laughs> so. 
Yes. <laughs> exactly. I love that. Well, we actually have that. that exact clip with features that exact line. Let's take a look at oh, this. Oh, okay. Carla, wait a minute. Let me fix this. This string's starting to unravel. And you know I want to play Levy's music right. If you was any kind of musician, you'd take care of your instrument, keep it in tip-top order. If you was any kind of musician, I'd let you be in my band. <laughs> Damn. Slow drag, watch them big ass shoes you got. Why well, ain't nobody done nothing to you? You done stepped on my shoes? Then move them the hell out the way then. You was in my way, I wasn't in your way. Any man who takes a whole week's pay and puts it on some shoes, you understand what I mean? What you walk around with on the ground with is a fool, and I don't mind telling them. What difference it make to you, Cutler? <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, wow. Them shoes, them shoes. That's a, that's a good one. <laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's a good show. Now, man, I have to ask clip. you, Michael, like the. Yeah. The film takes place in 1920s, and here we are, yeah. I mean, 100 years later, and a lot of the conversations that take place in the movie are incredibly mm -hmm. relevant for what we're going through right now. Can you That's, tell us absolutely. a little bit about those parallels? Well, it's, it's still, once again, the, the continuing struggle to, uh, for, what is it, agency, really basically. Mm -hmm. You see this, this incredibly talented woman who is demanding her agency, who knows her worth as an artist and as a yeah. human being. It's something that she has to demand, and we keep seeing that even today, particularly after the summer, uh, speaking about social injustice. And this was during a time, this movie takes place during a time of segregation, of Jim Crow segregation. And so this was something that the, the uh, African American people in this film every day had to deal with injustice and had to demand uh, respect, demand their mm -hmm. self-worth and know what it is. And, and that continues. And artists as well, who continue to have to demand respect for their work. I mean, we've had, you know, the whole controversy with The weekend when he was talking about the Grammys. You had Nile Rodgers talking to the British Arts Council about artists being fairly compensated on the streaming platforms for their music. So it continues. It continues to be resonant even today. Definitely. All of that. Well, thank you so much for chatting with us today, Michael. Congratulations on the film. It's a fine film. My Rainy's so Black Bottom is streaming right now on Netflix. So be sure to check it out.